welcome to Borneo. For the next week, we'll be exploring the jungles of Borneo for a very special purpose. The camera crept out. Orangutan Conservation Center. Amazing. That is a sun bear. Sending me across this bridge alone. At the Seplok Jungle Resort. Do not forget your bug spray. You have to take a boat over to the lot. This is cool. Flooded here at the resort. The storm picked up. Out an aluminum boat during a lightning storm. There's giant crocodiles right here. This is amazing. Monkey tree. This is so cool. Just when we thought the trip was over, it happened. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? J.R.R. Tolkien said, Faithless is he who says farewell when the road darkens. I wonder if he's been in a monsoon in Borneo. Hey, Katie, how's dinner? Good morning and welcome to Borneo. We're currently in Kota Kinabalu. Kota Kinabalu. We're about to hop on a bus to head across to the other side of the island to a town called Sandakan, where we will begin Grandma Palooza. What is that? Grandma, Grandma, Grandma Palooza 2023. What is that? I'll tell you more about that in a minute, but for now, it's time to hop on the bus. We use an app called EasyFit to book our tickets. Much easier than traveling out to the bus terminal in advance to buy tickets. If you forgot to pack anything, you can buy it at the bus station, or the hawkers will come on the bus and make sure that you've got everything you need before the bus pulls out. It's a long drive across the island, so while you're taking in this breathtaking scenery, I'll explain what Grandma Palooza is. My grandmother loved watching our YouTube videos. It gave her a real kick to watch us traveling around the world on TV. She passed away earlier this year, and my mom requested that we do a special trip and a special video outside of our normal plan, just for Grandma. After an exhaustive search of possibilities, we narrowed it down to visiting the Komodo dragons on Komodo Island in Indonesia, or seeing the wild orangutans in Borneo. Since the Komodo dragons have their own island already, that prehistoric look that they have. We figured we'd better see the orangutans in Borneo while there was still time. The Bornean orangutan is now critically endangered. Orangutan conservation is failing. So that brings us here to this beautiful island that was once lush jungle all the way across and is now largely palm oil plantations. Move along. Move along. Five hours into the trip and we finally had a bathroom break. I, for one, am very grateful that the driver is driving well. Not doing a bunch of passing around blind corners. <laughs> Very narrow mountain roads. The driver's driving really well. Pretty enjoyable ride. And the bus is nice. We'll probably be another seven hours. Thankfully, the trip wasn't that long, but it was a long day on the bus, so when we got to Sandakan, we just grabbed a little hotel by where the tour company's gonna pick us up in the morning and got a good night's sleep, despite the random person trying to get into our room in the middle of the night. If I'm in the right room, then you're in the wrong room. Thoreau said men have become the tools of their tools, and if you rely on electronics, you know how true this can be. So the camera crapped out yesterday. We had to switch over to iPhone. I think I have the camera so working. We will see. Obviously, the tour is going now. A great tour guide named Beanie. Heading out to the Orangutan Rehabilitation Center first. I'll be right. Catch up with you a little later. First stop is the Sepulok Orangutan Reservoir. Orangutan Reservation, Sepulok Orangutan Conservation Center. The once expansive rainforests of Borneo are not just a playground for the critically endangered Borneo orangutan. They are the only place in the world these magnificent creatures exist. These highly intelligent primates spend their days swinging through the canopy, building nests, and using makeshift tools to accomplish tasks. The name orangutan even means forest person in the Malay language. Sadly, deforestation and the illegal pet trade threaten their survival. Since 1964, the Sepulok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center has pioneered Bornean orangutan conservation. Here's how they operate. Rescue. They take in orangutans who have lost their mothers, often due to poaching or the illegal pet trade. Rehabilitation. Orangutans receive care, food, and are slowly introduced into the protected forest reserve to find their own food. Education. The center teaches rescued orangutans essential skills for survival in the wild, like foraging and building nests. Release. The ultimate goal is to release healthy orangutans back into the wild when they're self-sufficient enough though some may still require supplementary feeding at feeding platforms. Education for visitors. The center allows visitors to observe orangutans at feeding times in a strictly controlled environment to ensure their rehabilitation is not interfered with and to raise awareness about orangutan conservation. The center relies on donations and responsible ecotourism to fund their vital work. It's also really cool to see the number of purely wild orangutans that come in from the surrounding jungle to visit with their buddies and, well, you know, grab a free meal. It's also really interesting to see how many other creatures come in from the surrounding jungle, including the pig-tailed macaques, which are basically the seagulls of the rainforest. Anytime there's food around, they're screaming, mine, mine, mine. Amazing, you got to see all the orangutans eating and playing, and then you walked out 
into the forest. You got to see them in different, different areas. They're not enclosed. They're free to go into the jungle. It makes it extra special to come to a place like that. I highly recommend this place. Next up is the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center. I've never seen a sun bear, so this should be pretty cool. The sun bears are the smallest bears in the world. Right over there is Dr. Wong. He's the one that uh, started the whole center here. Some wild orangutans came over with the sun bears. That is a sun bear. Those are stingless bees, which I was not very able to get. Dr. Wong was just telling us that this is the only place where you can really see sun bears in the wild. So pretty much any documentary you see that has wild footage of sun bears is filmed here. So far the coolest thing I've seen with the sun bears is they were eating a uh, of corn and he took his nail and just rubbed it this way and opened his mouth and all the corn just popped into his mouth. <laughs> They are slow, but absolutely beautiful. And they seem so delicate. I think our next stop is lunch. Hey, this looks like a good spot to rustle up some grub. Ew, what's that? A grub. Tour continues and we have this whole bus <laughs> just for us. <laughs> Thanks to Beanie. <laughs> Next up is the RDC. Not really sure what that stands for yet. It's the Rainforest Discovery Center. It's supposed to be doing a rainforest walk. really peaceful. explained that that eight people means eight local people, not eight of me. So she's sending me across this bridge alone. <laughs> Katie already crossed. She didn't want to cross with me either. <laughs> nice. That is a wrap on the EDC. What? No, the RDC, the Rainforest Discovery Center. I'd recommend doing this too. That was beautiful. Really reminded me of far north Queensland. Rainforest walks up there in the Dane Tree. Do not forget your bug spray. Do not forget water. Don't forget a hat. Now it's back to the hotel, hopefully, and some dinner. This is your dinner. His name is Tom. <laughs> Burn! Seriously? Our first night is at the Seplock Jungle Resort. And it is truly in the jungle. Just look at this walk to breakfast. We're right in the jungle and there are fish, giant fish, and birds, every type of animal you can think of. It's incredible. The rooms are basic but nice enough, a little above average for the area. The Wi-Fi surprisingly works pretty good. It's amazing. There's a great pool and just a really lovely place to spend an evening in the morning. I love all the jungle. Shall we continue the tour? Our next lodge is a couple hours away by bus and boat, but Beanie makes the time go quickly by regaling us with her stories crafted over a lifetime in this jungle. You have to take a boat over to the lodge, but the water is a bit higher than normal. Off to adventure. This is cool. <laughs> Here's hoping we don't have to swim. It is just a bit flooded here at the resort. 
Welcome to eat, very tasty. This is our lodging for two whole nights, two beds, you know. Oh, that's a hard bed. <laughs> Good thing I'm not sleeping in that one. That was a little bit better. Best part, you can sit here, have your coffee, and look at all of the monkeys come down in the morning. We can have a party in the shower. What kind of party is this? I know. They have a little bit of I've always loved places that are over water with all the animals just right on top of you. This place is really cool. We just got here. They're going to give us a short intro and then we're going on a river cruise. For our first boat ride, we have tea and coffee and fried bananas and an awesome view. Oh, those are good. We just sat here at our little lunch and we heard Spanish. So we started talking to our friends next to us. They're from Spain. It's the first Spanish they got to hear in three days. So it was cool for them and it's always lovely for us to get to hear a little bit of Spanish, make us miss our home in Mexico. The clouds are rolling in, switching to GoPro. It is storming. That is sunny. That is Daniel. Daniel was rapidly entered into my heart by asking me about my Oregon Ducks hat. Started talking about our new coach, and well, we won't bore you anymore with that. The storm picked up, so we only got about a half hour. Then it's gonna turn dark. Apparently, they didn't want to take us out in aluminum boats during a lightning storm. Probably not gonna be able to get much on the GoPro with regards to the wildlife out here, but what an awesome experience. Oh yeah, and there's giant crocodiles here, salties, so we won't be hanging over the edge. Hey, we got a hornbill. Right here, the proboscis monkey, right there. There he is. Silver leaf monkeys. What an awesome trip. Oh, that is really blurry. Good morning from the Billet Adventure Lodge. It's just amazing here. Sleep wasn't great, but the experience is incredible. Being in the jungle, all the animals, it's incredible. Watching the Eco Challenge Borneo when I was a kid, we're out on a river in the Kinta Batangan. It's just crazy. We're gonna spend the next two hours on the boat. So we're gonna go grab some coffee and get to the boat trip. We have our new friends, Daniel and Sunny and Maria from Spain and Shimo from Spain. <laughs> that's Benny. That's not Benny, that's her. That's Benny right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so amazing to be cruising down. Oh, we got something already. Ladies and gentlemen, we have monkeys. is about 10 feet higher than normal at this time of year, so it's giving us a really unique opportunity to see some stuff that we wouldn't normally see. Don't like to hang over the side of the boat too much because there are giant crocs here. Probably mentioned that seven times already. I will probably mention it 14 times more. That is a fish eagle. And if I had a camera like that Watch. guy, I would be getting really good pictures of it like he just got. That's why he's so happy. But I have this little thing, so. We'll just say we're glad that he got good photos. Normally, they can't get into this lake because the water's not high enough. This is so freaking awesome. What's not so awesome is the moisture that got in my microphone jack, so we'll lose most of the audio from this morning's trip, but on the bright side, you'll probably only miss out on me saying awesome about 70 more times. And then we just pop out of the jungle into this giant lake. There's a fish eagle nest up there. Fish eagle spreading his wings to dry up there on the branch. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's huge. That is the elusive stork-billed kingfisher, the largest kingfisher in Borneo, and one of the most beautiful birds we've ever seen. But don't worry, we get a lot better footage of one of those tomorrow. Dead end.
Katie's happy. We have a squirrel sighting. Ooh, there you go. Racing the bird up river. Back to the lot for breakfast and a short rest, and then we'll be back out in the afternoon for another river cruise. After a nap and a nice little buffet lunch, we head out to explore the boardwalks around the resort. That trip was a little shorter than we planned for obvious reasons. We also got a good reminder of why you always watch where you step in the jungle. Heading out for our final afternoon boat excursion. The previous ones have been absolutely fantastic, so I can only imagine that this one is going to be even more gravy than we've already had. This trip has far surpassed anything that we hoped for. Daniel, who doesn't have a mic yet, Sonny's got the mic. Sonny, you're all on. Oh no, I can't do this. I, I cannot do this. I'm having an awesome time. So glad to meet my new friends here. I'm excited about this trip we're fixing to take. Yes, the best thing of the trip is so far is to meet Chris and Katie, and uh, we're having a fabulous time here in Kinabapanangan River, uh, re ready for the next ride. Sunny's got leeches on her. <laughs> Much better weather today. <laughs> yes. The boat's comfortable, the guides are nice, they take us right up in, they don't harass the wildlife. We, this is everything we could have dreamed of. Well, it's been spectacular to see monkeys and they like to come up at the night and be right next to the water so that their back is to the water and the predators only have one entrance to them. This has been a great trip. Little water monitor just hanging up there on the tree limb looking for a meal. Off he goes. Crocodile, crocodrilo. Oh, he's in the water. Now he's gonna kill us. Yeah, with it. Looks like we've got weather rolling this way again. We'll see how long this camera stays out. That is a very rare white crown hornbill. It is freaking gorgeous. There's macaques everywhere. We found a monkey tree. These ropes are put on orangutans to help them get across the water because orangutans can't swim and monkeys can't. Proboscis monkeys up there in the trees. It's a family of like seven or more proboscis monkeys up there. The jungle, wow. Whole tree full of blue throat bee eaters. But you know, we don't have zoom that good, so I'll probably put in a picture of one right here. Looks like we've begun the motoring home to get a little dinner and turn in for the evening. What an epic adventure this has been. So long and thanks for all the fish. Not so fast! That little stork-billed kingfisher up there is the prettiest bird I have seen in I don't know how long. And then, just when we thought the trip was over, it happened. A whole troop of endangered proboscis monkeys right along the water's edge, close enough to touch so we wouldn't dare. Absolutely magical. Alright, 
now we are headed back to the lodge for dinner because that is a perfect wrap on an epic tour. will involve a boat, a van, a walk, and hopefully a bus. We fill the hours reflecting on the amazing experiences we've shared and the new friends we've made along the way. Well, in theory, a bus will be by in a couple hours to pick us up here from alongside the road. That's our working theory. Thankfully, we find a bathroom nearby that we can pay to use. Huh, should I shake the can and get my money back? Good. That was good. <laughs>